Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's Two Minute Anatomy lesson is on the thoracic spine. The thoracic spine is the medical name for the mid-back. The thoracic spine has 12 articulating vertebrae. Each of those vertebrae articulates with the ribs. The thoracic spine is functionally rigid, meaning that it doesn't move as well as the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. The reasons for that is the facet joints are coronally oriented. There are very thin intervertebral discs between each of the thoracic vertebrae, and also the thoracic vertebrae articulate with the ribs. So it is functionally rigid when you compare it to the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. Now the cervical spine is the medical name for the neck, the lumbar spine is the medical name for the low back, so the thoracic spine is located between the cervical spine and the lumbar spine. There are 12 articulating vertebrae in the thoracic spine. Each of these vertebrae articulate with the ribs. Each of the vertebrae has what is called a demi facet where it articulates with the rib head, and then each of the transverse processes of the ribs have a coastal facet where it articulates with the tubercle of the ribs. So it articulates, the thoracic vertebrae articulates with the ribs in two different spots. Again, there are 12 vertebrae in the thoracic spine, there are 12 intervertebral discs in the thoracic spine, and there are 12 pairs of spinal nerves in the thoracic spine. The spinal nerves exit below the corresponding numbered spinal vertebrae. So the thoracic spine has 12 vertebrae, 12 intervertebral discs, and 12 pairs of spinal nerves. And those spinal nerves exit below the corresponding numbered spinal vertebrae. So spinal nerve T1 exits below the T1 vertebrae. 